Well, if you've been outside at all today, you definitely noticed it is windy out there. It is indeed, but with these windy conditions also comes the risk of valley fever. 17's Aton Wallace caught up with public health experts today and joins us now with what you need to know to keep yourself and your loved ones safe. Aton. For starters, valley fever is caused by breathing in what are called spores found in the soil here in the Central Valley. But experts say you can take steps to lower your risk of getting the disease. High winds battered the Golden Empire today from downtown Bakersfield to agricultural areas west of the city. These are conditions Michelle Corson with Kern County Public Health Services says to watch out for because with the winds comes a higher risk of getting valley fever. With valley fever, education is key. So we take days like today. It is a very windy day here in Kern County. If you breathe in spores that live in the soil here in Kern County and they settle into your lungs, you can become sick. A sickness that comes with symptoms similar to that of the flu, but more severe. But Corson says there are ways to help lower your risks. Public health services put up messages on electronic billboards across town, like this one near the intersection of Chester and California Avenues. The message? Keep doors and windows closed on windy days like today. Protect yourself. It's common sense. Stay indoors if possible. Close your windows and doors. Try to do activities inside today. In 2017, some 2,969 cases were reported in the county. The good news, the majority of people who get valley fever will never know it, having little to no symptoms at all. But for roughly 40% of those with valley fever, the disease is very much felt, including for people like Rob Purdy, diagnosed with valley fever in 2012. Really bad headache. I mean, if you take your worst headache and multiply it a few times, you get about where I was. Since his diagnosis, Rob has been a patient at Kern Medical and the Valley Fever Institute. At one point, he was coming in twice per week, but now once every six weeks. He takes medications, including pills, and a liquid injection into his brain. Today, he hopes people understand the message to stay indoors. There's patients that are still doing this two to three times a week, and it's really hard on people. Um, and I don't want anybody else to ever have to go through that. So until we can look at somebody and say, you need to be worried about valley fever being really severe if you ever get it, we need to make sure every understand, everybody understands the risk. Now at the Petroleum Club tomorrow night at 6 p.m., Kern Medical will host a valley fever symposium featuring medical experts. Meantime, the county has a website dedicated to valley fever. It's called kerncountyvalleyfever.com. There you can learn about resources made available to you and what you can do to protect yourself. In the newsroom, Aton Wallace, 17 News.